Well, Emma Donahue joins us now from Beverly Hills, where the Golden Globes will take place tonight. And, and Emma, I want to talk about the novel initially, because Room did start out as a novel, what, some five years ago. It was not originally a screenplay. Did you ever think your novel would become a film? I did. I know this is going to sound a bit cocky, but the minute I'd written it, I thought I could see this story working on screen too, because I could imagine audiences being gripped by the story of a child in danger, basically. So um, I, I tried it out as a screenplay immediately before the book was published. That's amazing that you had that feeling. But, you know, it's such a different process. I, I talk to my friends who are authors, and it's such a different process to give birth to a character on paper. What's it like to translate that into screen? Is it nerve-wracking, the whole process? Were you worried uh, that what you envisioned with these characters would be compromised? No, because I was working with this great Irish director, Lenny Abrahamson, and we got such backing from both my, my homelands. and We got a lot of Canadian funding, a lot of Irish funding, and the film was shot in Toronto with mostly amazing Canadian actors, including our child star, Jacob Tremblay. So the whole process has been such a pleasure. And I haven't had any of those moments of feeling, you know, alienated or as if the story's been spoiled. Not a bit. I think Lenny has made such a beautiful film and one that Canada and Ireland can both be really proud of. Well, that's so very lovely to hear. Uh, you know, I do wonder, though, because you here you are now nominated for a Golden Globe. You're going to be on that carpet with some very big stars in that dining hall with some very big stars. Are you able to appreciate this moment or is it just all very overwhelming? I really, I'm not overwhelmed at all. You know, this is just a delightful novelty for me. My usual daily life is pounding away on my treadmill desk, writing my books, all alone, wearing sweatpants. So this is just a, a delightful contrast with that. But I would never mistake it for my real life. Well, yeah, I have to say, though, your real life now means that you are competing with some big names in this category. You've got Aaron Sorkin, you've got Tarantino. Uh, what would it mean for you if you actually win a Golden Globe tonight? It would be a great personal thrill, but more importantly than that, it would draw world attention to this film, which is by no means a big budget film, and it's about a difficult premise. So I think it's absolutely wonderful that this film is getting so much attention because it gives us a lot of chances to say this is about parent-child love. This is a story of the most universal things, of the kind of everyday heroism of every parent trying to make life better for every child. Oh, again, a lovely sentiment. Uh, what about uh, an avenue in the future, though? Does this uh, open up a different avenue for you as a screenwriter rather than uh, a, a novel writer? Not rather than, but I'd love to do it as well, yes. Yeah, so I'll definitely be writing both films and TV in the near future. And it's great fun to have a new string to your bow in your 40s when you've been writing way since your 20s. So I'm really happy about this, especially as, you know, the stats on women in film are so appalling. It's very difficult to break into. So I feel enormously lucky that through writing this novel, I've managed to sort of step into film in, in a way that's often very, very difficult. Well, I have to say I enjoyed the novel. I haven't seen the movie yet. I'm going to have to watch the movie. But I do hope you win because, Emma, then I can tell people, yeah, this afternoon I spent some time with the Golden Globe winner. Thank you so much. <laughs> Good luck, Emma. And that is Thanks Emma Donahue, author of the screenplay adaptation of the critically acclaimed novel, Room.